Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Well, I've gone ahead and picked up Samael and Floros back. They'll both be useful for the next section of Tartarus. And uh, all the other Personas are Personas that I want to take with me as well. And I've also brought in Koromaru, Ken, and uh, Mitsuru into the party. So let's uh, head on up into the next section of Tartarus. Also, you can find the Odenta Mitsuyo sword on floors 150 and 156, and you can also get it from a rank 8 sword card, which we don't have access to right now anyway. It's a 6% spawn rate as always. There's actually quite a few new enemies. Much more than there was in the previous section, which is kind of weird, but... That's okay, I guess. Yeah, there's like eight new enemies. <laughs> Let's see if they show up right away. They... do not. Target. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna start encountering level 50 enemies, so... Gotta be prepared for that. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. I was hoping he'd come all the way down. I don't feel like wasting time with enemies that aren't different. I got a lot of grinding to do later anyway. You're always having trouble sensing what's ahead, Fuka. I don't know, let's uh, put on track two. Aha! I'm gonna guess it's floor 150. Please spread out and search the area. Where the enemies change. This may be useful. I'll take it with me. Yeah, it's hard to tell if Cormaro finds money or items. And yes, even the dog pockets the money. Unless you're playing the portable version. Just stupid. And I got some battle items that I'll never use. Well, they're okay in this game. Okay, so now we're on floor 150, so let's uh, actually explore here. See if the enemies are new. Still the same enemies? Really? I thought they would have changed by now. Huh. Whatever, I'll try this guy too. No, they're definitely the same still. Whatever. <laughs> Just use the same tactics on them. Turn around. Obviously, I'm exploring this floor in case the rare katana shows up. You never know. But not today. Get out of the way, party members. Get out of the way. I don't recall them doing that in Persona 4. Of course, I don't recall them doing that in any other game! I 
whatever. Did they change now? Oh, jeez, I didn't expect it to turn around like that. They did change, actually. So we got the uh, Regal Mothers and the Growth Relics. So, who do I want to use here? Let's see, do any of these guys have light attacks? No. So I'm going to use... Succubus. Since the Regal Mothers there are weak to darkness. Let's go ahead and use uh, Zionga. There we go. Succubus is awesome. Anyway, the Regal Mothers, they absorb wind, no ice and light. They're weak to lightning and darkness. Uh, Agadine work on the other guy? Yes, it does. But yeah, they have Meteorama, Magarula. Ooh, that was good. Mabufala, Rakukacha, Wind Boost, and a Strike Attack. Succubus with Zeong is the way to go. If you're just fighting Growth Relics, use Samaya with Swiss Strike or Herculean Strike, which is why I brought him with me. But we're not going to need to use him here. But those growth relics are, well, they absorb wind, they're weak to strike, which is why I need Samael with Swift Strike and Herculean Strike. Ah, I could use him as well. So let's take a look at uh, Swift Strike here. I wouldn't use Megiddo, it costs too much. Awesome, got him. So either way... But yeah, they're very weak to strike attacks. Uh, they have Magarula, Diorama, Sukukaja, Wind Boost, and a Pierce attack. Should give a lot of experience. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're all level 50-ish. Oh, somebody just made a loud noise. <laughs> Let's go retreat a little bit so we can get this guy from behind. Ah, the wondrous magi. Probably weak to ice. No, they're not weak to ice. We want to use Floros. You could also use Succubus with Moodoon, but I prefer Floros. And they're weak to fire. They're strong against, uh... Well, no, they're just weak to fire and darkness. They know light, repel ice, they have Bufala, Ma Bufala, Bufu Dine, Mataru Kaja, Mahama, Ice Boost, and a Strike Attack. So obviously don't use Okanushi, that's why I want Floros over Okanushi. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that, uh, death card. Got two gold rings already, need uh, three more of those. I'll get them on my own time. They're pretty common around here, if I remember right, so... Shouldn't have too much issues dealing with them. Oh, right, Genbu. Regal Mothers, get out of there. I would have just used Succubus and Mazio there. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. Get out of the way! Such bad having. Ah, Conviction Swords. We want to use our new Persona, Quesicotl, on them. And they are weak to wind. Magaru is the way to go. The enemy's off 
And an all out attack. Now, I could have used Garudine on them, but that just costs more, so why do that when Magaro and an all out attack is the same exact thing? I mean, Garudine might have one shot them, but that's the only difference. I'm still effectively one shotting them. That's why I love the uh, level 1 moss spells so much. They're amazing in this game. But anyway, those guys had uh, Maracunda, Mighty Swing, Counter, a Slash Attack. And they were strong against Slash and Pierce and obviously weak to win. Alright, I guess I'll just go up. Get that chest and uh, let's switch back over to Genbu. Whoa! Didn't see that coming. Hard to see around the corner sometimes. Growth Relics, I'd use Samael with Swift Strike or Herculean Strike, depending on which one you transferred. They both do effectively the same thing. Just for different costs. I think Herculean Strike is a little better, but... Eh. More of these swords. Oh, somehow I got to level 50 when leveling, uh... Nah, I don't care about a gold shadow. One leveling... Kusimitama. That was kind of weird, for wind boost. There are a couple of small enemies uh, that come alone. Well, large enemies that come alone, but I haven't found them yet. More of these guys, huh? Nah, let's get out of there. Oh, you can fight those Hakuru Musha enemies around here as well. I probably won't show them off again. They were the red shadow of the previous section. Obviously, just use Aerobus with Hamean, and that's the whole reason why I brought Aerobus with me. Can't find any more enemies. I mean, if I encounter those samurai guys, sure, I'll show them off. Obviously, the red shadow is the same. It's still the Scarlet Turrets. Whoa. Yeah, that's far enough. Good. I like when they walk into the wall. It's so stupid. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that's odd. <laughs> so the enemies from the previous section. I didn't think they'd be this high up. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next floor, because this is really weird. Uh, I don't know why these enemies are suddenly around. Unless that guy's a really small guy. No. Come on, three new enemies that I have to show off. Where are they? Yeah, the 160th floor. We're not going to be taking him on for a while. Nah, I don't care about the Scarlet Turns today. Solid castles? No, more swords? Ugh. There are two of them. Attack. Annoying. It's just easier to run instead of editing out every single battle. Oh, 
Really, the way experience is proportioned, it doesn't really matter that much. Since you get bonus experience for being below the level of the enemy you're fighting. Can I sneak around this guy? Probably not. Oh, yes I can. Cool. <sighs> I love it when I can't find, like, four enemies that are left to show off. Really only three, but... Still. I do remember that solid castles are pretty rare. Oh, we'll just uh, keep trucking, I guess. They gotta show up eventually. Uh, excuse you? Okay, it's just starting to, uh, to uh, irritate me now. Come on. Get over here. Come on. Oh, so now I find the uh, Hakuro Mushas. Let's see, Aerobus is weak to ice, right? Yeah, so do those Conviction Swords have an ice attack? I forget. No, no, they do not. So, I'll take him out first with uh, Hamean. They're still nasty to deal with. I guess I'll use a normal attack, but... I'll have to switch over to, uh... Quesicotl. I'll be much happier when you get Mamudun, Kormaro. But whatever. Take out these uh, swords here. Wow, our all-out attacks are good now. Oh, uh, that's Ose. I'll go ahead and pick him up. He's a full persona. Not too useful, really. But he's new. Ah, Genbu, I need you equipped. I think I fuse him later to fuse something else, I forget. Or maybe that was just for Request 55, I don't remember. He's not too common from Shuffle Time if I remember right. Come on, solid castles. Uh, I hate it when I'm missing. No? There are three of them. <laughs> I don't know where they are, folks. This is uh, a little silly here. The other two guys are just the tiny shadows. I, I can't even find those guys. That's troubling. Please be solid castles. No? There are two enemies. Oh no! The enemies got you marked! <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure Genbu's weak to ice, so I shouldn't... Oh no, it resists ice. What did I do against these guys? Because since the game doesn't want me to run away... Floros. I don't feel like editing this out. That's really annoying. Well, we'll take them out. Just the same. Maybe I'll get two more... Uh, You know what else would be nice, Fuka? If the new enemies would show up. Oh, I got two more of them. Cool. 
So I'm only one short now. I find them to be one of the easier enemies to get the uh, request item from. I never really have a problem uh, encountering them. Maybe they're just higher up. No, there's one of the the uh, new enemy. Oh, come on, man! Really? Whatever. I believe that's Minotaur three. There's one enemy, and it's powerful. I summon thee. Ow. If I could get my turn, I would use Succubus. Yeah, it's Minotaur 3. And we want to use uh, Moodoon on this guy because he has like a thousand HP and I don't feel like dealing with that. You could use Ogidine on it. Genbu actually isn't bad to use here either with uh, Zane because it's resistant to its attacks. Get the experience card. It's level 55, so it should give a lot of experience. Yeah, for just one enemy. It's not weak to darkness, but Mudun is the way to go there. He has like over a thousand HP or something ridiculous. But yeah, he knows Strike, Repels Ice, has Bufudine, Mabufala, Gigantic Fist. He has Regenerate 2, which regenerates a little bit of his HP, and a Pierce Attack. There is another small enemy around. Yeah, the Mighty Cyclops. But he actually has a weakness, so... Not as concerned with him. I know, Fuka, you told us this. I seriously just found the rare sword, I think. On screen over the course of a normal recording. You've got to be kidding me. There are two of them. Attack. I will take just telling you about the last two enemies if that's seriously the rare sword. I think this is the floor. Alright, you better turn your ass around. Really? You're not going to turn your ass around? <laughs> I remember this battle. Well, actually against the Red Shadow, it was just two of them, I think. Wow. I did just get the Atenta Mitsuyo. That is pretty awesome. I wasn't even going out of my way for it, and I just got it. I think that's the last one for a while. I forget exactly. Come on, game. There are three of them. Strike first. I guess I'll take the uh, wrong enemies being encountered for getting that rare sword. I'm tempted to just go back down, but nah. There are three of them. Okay. Uh, Solid castles are very rare, so this is not surprising me. But they know lightning, they're weak to wind, they have Agilau, Zionga, Poizma, and a strike attack. You want to use Quetzalcoatl on them. And the Mighty Cyclops are weak to fire, they have Moragian, even though they're weak to fire, Magarula, Mabufala, Mazionga, as well as fire, ice, wind, and electric boost, and a slash attack. And you want to use Succubus on them and... Hit him with Doggy Dine. And that'll do the trick. In fact, that might be him right there. We'll find out. There's one enemy. I'm not even gonna say anything. That's not normal. Okay, I guess I did say something. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. But I will take the rare sword any day of the week. I don't really think they're getting stronger. 
Maybe the solid castles aren't encountered until later, but they are the lowest level enemy, which is weird. Well, there's another Minotaur 3. I don't feel like dealing with a guy with a thousand HP, yeah. Yeah, how about no? Okay, I'm just gonna go to the top. So those are the only two enemies I didn't encounter. Uh, I almost never encounter the solid castles. They're very rare for whatever reason. Usually I encounter the Cyclops, though. He's not too rare. Well, there you go. There he is. So we'll go with Succubus, and we'll use Agidine. I think it'll take more than one shot on this guy. You can set Koromaru to knock down if you want. Oh no, he doesn't have that much HP, okay. I just see one enemy, and I assume it has a lot of HP, but I guess not this time. But yeah, I already went over his resistances and stuff. Kind of weird that an enemy has all four boosts, but I guess it works. Not that he'd ever get to attack you. <laughs> yeah, they don't give enemies enough HP to where they're ever going to really attack you, and it's too easy to uh, ambush your enemies. But, whatever. Strike first, but be careful. Okay, let's keep going up. I'm not gonna show off the solid castles because they're a pain in the ass to find. I almost never fight them, it's so weird. I usually don't fight them until I start grinding on these floors, and then I fight like one or two the entire time. It's ridiculous. They are on this section. But be careful. They just must be really, really rare or something. They're not difficult to deal with. Quetzalcoatl can handle them just fine. Just use Magaru or Garudine depending on how many you're fighting. I just want to finish because I'm not losing that rare sword. <laughs> no way. There are four enemies. Attack! Whatever, no solid castles. I might show them off when I do my grinding. I'll probably record it and throw it in at some point. Because I have a lot of grinding to do. A lot of grinding. <laughs> you see, I need to get to level 55 in order to do all the fusions that I want to do. Well, the final two fusions. Obviously, I'm going to get tired before I finish this, but oh well. Oh, I only needed three gold rings. But yeah, I'll need that, that money to uh, do the fusion here. Let's hand in this uh, rare sword. The O... O Tenta? O Tenta Mitsuyo? I, I don't know. Whatever. Just, uh... Hand it in.
Eh, nothing else too interesting. Oops, Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, Quetzalcoatl. Don't care about any of the other ones. Okay, so I'm going to grind on that last section of Tartarus there. You know, the usual way. Look for red shadows and double experience floors. If I encounter solid castles, I'll record it, edit it, or I'll record it and I'll throw it into the next episode at the beginning. And uh, I'm going to level up my lowest level characters with me as well, of course. And uh, I want to reach level 55. Sounds like a lot, but really it's not. Just because one of the bridge personas I want to use is level 55. That's really the only reason. But I'm already level 50, and I'm almost level 51, and I'm getting well over a thousand experience per battle. And all the enemies here are over level 50, so it'll be pretty easy. So I'm going to do that between this episode and the next. Obviously, I'll be taking some time off to do that. And uh, when I get back, we'll probably be tired, so I'll have to leave Tartarus and go on to social links. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.